So here we are again. It's part three. I'm still building the repair ship. <coughs> so I uh, decided to put a little bit of random hole plating underneath because it looked a bit too bland and flat. So uh, similar to the way I did the bottom of Hang'em High. So yeah. So here's my docking and as you can see it's accessible from underneath. I'm going to put all the enhancers in the middle of engineering just sort of up in the air. So this is a new thing. Uh, the plan was originally to use them for lighting. So you put the lights on top. Um, but in the end I just sort of carried on filling up the space there with enhancers. After we've got enough enhancers uh, I put another um, another dock underneath for the fighter which is obviously going to need more enhancers for that too and all the turret enhancers will go in here as well in a similar sort of pattern um, I figure engineering is supposed to have engineering stuff in it so I wanted to put like you know all my power storage all my thrusters all my turrets docks enhancers and all my fixed dock enhancers with all that in the back and have it viewable so you can walk around and see them not have them buried in or part of the ship because the biggest problem was if I ever wanted to change anything later on I'd have to tear the whole ship apart to get at stuff so I thought well why not make a turret dot or you know a docking enhancer room but this is an early you know I'm still trying out new ideas on this so yeah just permanent engineering and here we go with the planet terrain so I did my best to try and make it look not quite you know not like just squares of it. I wanted to make it look a little bit natural, but not, you know, yeah. Uh, it's hard to do that. So I had a go, anyway. I wanted to make it a little bit uneven, you know, just a little, just a little bit. And yeah, that was supposed to be red rock. So yeah, put some more of the red rock in here. The idea being to make it look less of something that was just built and more of something that was constructed using materials that were available at the time so but yeah lots of red hole <laughs> my idea was it's like a fire engine you know you're on fire and it comes and puts you out <laughs> so and it's getting there that that under there is Plenty big enough for a nice shaped fighter, I would think. And it should be uh, dockable and you can still land. Well, <laughs> remains to see if you can actually land this thing, but uh, it should have enough thrust by the time I'm finished with it anyway. So here I am putting in a few mushrooms. It's going to be mushrooms throughout the ship because I want it to look old and kind of overgrown if I can. So here I am messing around with enhancers. Sorry about your retinas, guys. Lurching around. But, um, you know, the idea here is so that I can have some really big turrets on the outside and then get some smaller turrets on the inside of those fins at the front there. Because putting turrets on the engine modules when they're plated is going to be easy. Oh! And I decided to erase the thrusters in favour of having more power tanks here. So, um, effectively I switched the first thruster module for power tanks. And then I uh, made another two thruster modules at the back, uh, you know, immediately behind the, the power tanks, which, um, which will be the thrusters. So, yeah. And then uh, if you notice the reactor, I kept the reactor on there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in and then put another reactor around them and then another reactor around both of them. So it's like a box within a box with it, well, uh, two boxes within a box with a box within each of those. Yeah. So I was making yo dog jokes. Let's go in. Yo dog, I heard you like power generators. Yada yada yada. You get the rest. Oh, it's just <laughs> it was a bad joke. Okay. But yeah. I put some power reactors inside your power reactors so you can recharge while you recharge. There's gotta be a GIF in there somewhere. 
So, um, yeah, basically just putting a spacer so that these two reactors don't touch each other. I think I just filled it in with power tanks. Yeah, I did, yeah. And a bit of hole, make sure they don't touch. I kind of like that, though. It's, it's almost like... <clears throat> Like it's like redstone, but better because it goes upwards. <laughs> okay, so here we are putting in the second uh, thruster modules, the second set. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> they were all sideways, so I had to redo them. <laughs> I had the rotation set wrong. Um, and then I fill in the gaps with power tanks. Now, interestingly, this is something which happened. I put the put the. I'm going to bridge them. I'm going to bridge those two layers of power tanks with the main core, and it made a massive whopping difference. So then I bridged them again, the, the the two pairs. So now we've got one set of power tanks there, one massive group, and it gave huge power gains, like huge. You know, like the numbers would just, just still go. We're just still going up. Um, so I thought, okay, um, I'll whack a reactor around around the new module, and then whack another reactor around that, and then another reactor around that, and then um, I think I hit nearly a million. I think I might have broken a million recharge. I'm not sure, but it's like there's not many blocks there. Um, in comparison to the 9927 style reactors. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to do it. I wanted to save a bit of time. And um, instead of putting the power down first, I thought oh, I'll put the power down afterwards around a big block of thrusters or a big block of power tanks. Because I figure you get a bonus from having them all connected. So it may as well just make that massive block first and then build a box reactor around it. Um, and then there's no power reactors through the ship. I mean, I didn't really need the ones up front, but like I say, this is kind of a little bit of, I'm testing out quite a few new things on this ship, like the docking from underneath, uh, the sideways mounted tools, the box reactors, connecting my tanks, connecting my thrusters, which did make a difference. Not much, but it was about 10%. So I got about 10% out of only having one thruster group on the ship. In other words, if you have two, bridge them with thrusters so they're connected. That totally works. I kind of like that too. Oh yeah, I did a bit of a bodge job here. The two tracks were too close together, so I made a U out of the... Um, I made a U shape out of the line so that the, the two lines wouldn't touch, the two recharger block lines. It's a bodge job, but it totally worked. <laughs> With no loss of power. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had a bit of a laugh about that, because I've always wondered if you just go out one, back, back, and then back onto the line, w would it make any difference? And no, it doesn't. So, that's actually quite a good thing to know. I'll probably do a video on that in more detail, because we went across it so fast, there's no way you would have actually seen it <laughs> on the video this time around. So here I go, messing about with my reactors again. So as I say, I put a reactor around the reactors and then a reactor around those reactors, as you can see here. The trickiest part was because of the symmetry, um, you have to t I had to take the symmetry off to do the corners to get the, you know, to tweak it to get the best power. But as you can see, it actually works really nicely. And then I chucked another couple of layers of power tanks around the outside of that, and some more thrusters on the back in an interesting pattern. So, um, that's pretty much. I mean, the idea was to make this into as big a block as possible, and then I'll hide it with hull later. <laughs> um, engineering is still pretty open, so I'm keen to fit, sort of like hide that away a little bit because it's still very open. Um, so, yeah, armor plating is a must. And armor's worth doing now, because the AMCs are not very powerful, so... You can still have powerful AMCs, but... Um, the guns are huge, you know, so... Anyway. So there we go, I think I've pretty much finished the power on the ship now. All I need to do is detail the thrusters, and I did a really interesting 
Here we go, look. Da -da -da -da. Done. <laughs> Touch your thrusters detailed. Um, I wanted to have visible, you know, in engineering, so I put water to sort of um, use the blocks as a light source. Um, what do I do under here? Oh yeah, more power tanks. It's a bit like layering circuit boards when you think about it, because of the way that they touch and uh, the way you can have them integrate systems. Well, that's really cool. See, I'm going to be integrating that into my new design for the Swiss Army knife. So, which is going to be a new testing ship for dev builds and new releases, of course. So, um, yeah, just finishing off this little airlock here. Of course, I've still got to make corridors to connect in or just make a big old room for engineering. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm just going with the flow on this build. And I thought, hey, I'll get a stabilizer rail or whatever they call it. Uh, you know, like on the uh, Defiant and Miranda's, not the Defiant, the, the Reliant and Miranda class. I, I kind of like that, um, you know, overhead stabilizer bar sort of thing. I mean, I know it's a missile pod sometimes, but I haven't got any missiles. Maybe I'll put some in there. Um, I thought mainly just to <laughs> have a little collector up there. That's kind of cool. It makes it look even more like a tractor. Oh! <laughs> it looks like a tractor. But then the thing is, it is a repair ship, so you know, I mean, ideally, I'd love to have the tractor beams so that we could use this for as a tug as well. That would be amazing. But uh, I can wait. There's so much cool stuff coming up that I'm not really bothered at what order it gets released in. There's so much. I'm going to... It's going to take me weeks to cover it all, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> I trust the master plan. So, filling in this massive area with shields. I know it was annoying because you couldn't just do it as one big block. You had to just... You had to kind of do it block by block because of the weird space. Um, I put a bunch of these reactors on the top of the engines and then connected them all um, just to see if it made any difference and it doesn't make any difference at all but they look it looks cool it looks like a bunch of uh, transistors on an old style circuit board so I kept it <laughs> uh, putting a little bit of a roof on this hangar wait a minute didn't I delete that roof I don't remember that roof Mind you, I've made extensive changes to this ship, so I think I might have extended it out a bit. Yeah, that's probably about right. Ah, yeah, that's right, we're putting the window on. Boom. And then I thought I'll remove a bit of the inside for a door, even though I doubt the door's going to get much use because of the way I plan to get out. There's going to be another dock in the roof. Spoilers! Um, so basically you'll dock to get in and dock to get out effectively the door doesn't need to be there it's kind of cool i like that because um, you could build your ship with that in mind um, so that like the docking enhancer is directly in front of you um, and then you could just like pop out the wall in front of your hangar and then undock and fly away so i like that it's cool and we're nearly at the end of this section so this will be the end of part three um, just sort of trying to light up this visitor hangar a few more checks a few more bits of lighting around doors i was experimenting with the style i like having a theme throughout the ship so if i were to change something on one door i'd have to change it on all of them um, and yeah, I'm just going to take a little slow pass around the ship in a sec because it's been like super, super fast the whole time. I think I'm just showing somebody my dock there, yeah. Because <laughs> you can dock from underneath. It's kind of kind of a neat trick. Like I say, found a post on Reddit about it. Um, I think the bloke might have made a video on it as well. So if I can find the link for that, then I'll definitely post it up. Otherwise, you'll just get the Reddit. But uh, still, you'll be able to find it from there. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, this is the repair ship in its current state. It's still got a lot to do. Um, what I would like to do is finish off engineering next. Um, not sure about that shield thing up front. I might just take that off. It was kind of a temporary measure because I didn't have enough shields on the ship. Um, 
but I build in god mode so it's not really that big a deal might just erase it we'll see tell me if you like it because uh, I'm all ears got to fix the staircase as well that little mushroom style platform lift thing so uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that I've got another speed build I'm gonna start before I finish this one because I think you can get a little monotonous when you stick to the one build for too long and I've spent about six hours on this one I think so over three nights so two hours a night uh, somebody told me I should try spinning through the middle of my batteries but I on my shields even but um I, I didn't see the bent the uh, the graphical effect he was telling me about on it so yeah more turrets will be coming up next a small mushroom slice fighter like a pizza topping it's gonna dock to the bottom that there is where you dock so boom and look I'm now inside the hangar see super I love it it's really cool and then obviously I could just press up and be in build mode again so it's it's really useful it's really useful um, so I'm going to be thinking about integrating that into a new ship to take advantage of that mechanic. I mean, I'm an in I like interiors myself, but I'd happily dedicate the heart of the ship, as it were, to a core like that. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.